explanation. Dada, I have 12 pedas. I have to put them in equal groups so that no peda is left over. How many pedas must I put in each group? Sanju, putting into groups means dividing. None left over means that the remainder will be zero. Anju, 12 is divisible by 2, so we can make groups of 2. Manju, 12 is divisible by 3, so we can make groups of 3. Sagar, we can also make groups of 4. Anita, can we make groups of 5? Manju, no, because 12 is not divisible by 5. Anju, we can divide 12 by 6, so groups of 6 can be made. Manju, we cannot make groups of 7, 8, 9, 10 or 11, because we cannot divide 12 by any of these numbers. Sanju, we could make one group of 12 and give it to one person, or we could give 12 people one pera each. Dada, very good. 12 is exactly divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12, which means the remainder is 0. These numbers are called divisors or factors of 12. Similarly, 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 are factors of 16. Multiples Dada, you know what a divisor and a dividend is? Do you know what a multiple is? Let me give you one example. You can solve 20 divided by 5. When the division of dividend leaves no remainder, the dividend is said to be a multiple of the divisor. In such a case, the dividend is the product of the divisor and the quotient. Here, 20 is a multiple of 5, but 21 is not. Now tell me, can we divide 84 chalk sticks into groups of 6? Suraj, let me divide by 6. 84 can be divided exactly by 6 and the quotient is 14. Thus, we can make 14 groups of 6. So, 84 is the multiple of 6 and 6 is a factor of 84. If the number of chalk sticks is 6, 12, 18, 36 or 84, then we can make exact groups of 6 with none left over. It means that 6, 12, 18, 36 and 84 are multiples of 6 or that they are exactly divisible by 6. To see whether the number of chalk sticks is a multiple of 6, divide the number by 6. If the remainder is 0, the number is a multiple of 6. Each number in the 3 times table is exactly divisible by 3 or is a multiple of 3. Similarly, the numbers in the 7 times table are multiples of 7. Numbers in the 9 times table are multiples of 9. Test for divisibility. Study the 2 times table and see which numbers appear in the unit's place. Similarly, divide 52, 74, 80, 96 and 98 by 2 to see if they are exactly divisible by 2. What rule do we get for determining whether a number is a multiple of 2? Here, 2, 4, 0, 6, 8 are in unit places. So, 52 divided by 2, 74 divided by 2, 80 divided by 2, 96 divided by 2, 98 divided by 2. Then we get answers 26, 37, 40, 48, 49. The division of dividend leaves no reminder. Test for divisibility by 2. 
if there is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in the unit's place, the number is a multiple of 2 or is exactly divisible by 2.